Yeah. I'm coming in from RSG I think, once again. <laughs> yep, I think TNC have no choice but to pick up a, but to pick up something like a Guinevere for for their team. I want to know what Nouns is laughing about. You yeah. know, sometimes when you just see these guys, him Ooh. and Demon Kite, the smiling demon, as you know, some like to call him. Or a Franco. How about a Franco for TNC? Franco. Franco Novaria, increase the hitbox. Hey, you know, we're already in a do-or-die game. I'm going to lock in a Saber Roam right now. Just kill the Angela. Okay. You know? <laughs> Same concept, you know. Single target. Stun him up. Kill him up. Eat him up. A Franco. He's up there. <laughs> All right. So they lock in the Franco. I, and like you mentioned, with the Novaria works wow. great. But that's the thing, TNC. I'm just wondering if they have enough to deal with, uh, well, number one, the sustainability coming out. Obviously, with that Angela across from them. And hopefully, they allow enough time for really the carry to shine as well. So, the boxes that we're going to be talking about when it comes to the objectives are going to be very important for yeah, them. That's true. Especially that first Lord where usually things go south for TNC Pro Team. We have to make sure that if you're TNC, they have to think twice whenever they go in for that big Lord fight. But in terms of early game aggression, things just always been really good for TNC Pro Team. And for RSG, they just got to bide their time. They're going to wait for that moment that TNC Pro Team finally overextends. And for this game, they cannot afford that. This is do or die for TNC Pro Team. If, they're, if they lose this game, they will be out of playoffs contention. Don't forget in the chat as well to let us know who you guys think is going to win this matchup for a chance to win. Some diamonds, 500 diamonds, four winners for that over on the YouTube channel. Let us know with the hashtag, hashtag TNC or hashtag RSG alongside your user ID and your server. Oh, Demon Kite. Still oh, Demon it. Kite, going to jump in. He's going to make Super Yoshi pay for this. Oh, they no. get the flicker out, and that is going to be troublesome. Oh, Aqua no. jumps in, too. They want him to think twice yep. before going in Demon Kite's jungle again. Yep. That is unfortunate for TNT Pro Team. Yep. An early first blood in a flickerless Franco by level four. Yeah, I believe that Super Yoshi should have just flickered when he already hooked the uh, buff. I agree. That could have been different. Might have been a different case where Demon Kite isn't able to take him out. But then damage has been done. Um, in exchange for extra gold for RSG, TNT bought a little bit of time. And that meant that Aqua will not have the flicker as well. Yeah, and um, Demon Kite already around this gold lane area. <laughs> Nomad looking to be uh, safe under his turret here. A lot of boots purchases coming in from RSG. Looks like rotations so will be really fast for yeah. RSG this time around. See, I was I was reading the room right on the cameras when we saw that Arlot picked up and Nav's double chest tapping himself yeah. looking at light. <laughs> Since we got light on that Arlot here, now, I know there's been a lot of talk as well about the Brave Smite emblem, the changes that have happened here. Yeah. But still, the fact that you have this Arlot, and most of the job is just swoop them up. Yep. You know, swoop them in and allow RSG to kind of capitalize on that. TNC has to constantly re remind themselves of this and avoid that. That's really hard when that flicker is yeah. available for life. Really hard if you look at that. Um, um, if you look at the skills coming in from Light as well, he, he has this ability to find odd angles. Yep. It looks like that's not an odd angle. Well, he's going to get thrown in the wall. Gets the hard guard, though, too. Demon Kind and the rest of the team to help him out. It's heads. Now taking the brunt of damage. Gets swept up as well as Aqua gets the kill. Now eyes from RSG set on the turtle, but there's the lockdown from Super Yoshi. Nav still going to be alive, though. Has enough sustain. What happened to TNC as Ryzen falls as well? A double for Aqua on this Angela. Crucial skill shot misses coming in from TNC. Things that could have gone so well for them, but did not because it did not hit. Oh man, TZ has been scratching their heads over that one. They lost so much, four deaths in the first two minutes of the game, despite them having a good rotation and Ryzen nailing that Daytona's welcome. But for TNC, I think that they were hitting their shots, it's just that they're not hitting their shots in unison. To get my meaning inside. Uh huh. Because you're practically poking if you're not hitting your shots altogether. The Angela now has increased uh, efficacy because what happens is if you don't hit them altogether with your burst, with your combo, they can heal up. And that's exactly what happened with Nats. Nats took so much damage, but because of the healing, it's super duper bad for TNT. And uh, speaking of uh, this um, uh, 
Actually, speaking of Aqua in this game, running the Angela means they could give that entire wave to Kusei as well, who has been double laning for the longest time already. And I think this is something that is uh, known across almost all MPL regions that maybe later oh. then. Gonna throw, okay, doesn't want to throw him in the wall. They're like, back up, but the final slash comes through anyway. Ryzen, the we gonna be in trouble. There's the lockdown, though, under the turret as he falls. And now, Demon Kite on the run. The oh, stun no. is there from Nomad. Can't get the kill. Demon Kite survives. Oh, Ooh. man. But going back to that um, um, topic that we talked about earlier. Nope. Wait a minute, Kusei still there. Nomad with a hook coming in from Yoshi. Still, nobody dies in this fight <laughs> unless... Now we're kidding. It's yep. done. They don't. They, there's no more. They're yeah. done. Yeah. As you were saying, back yep. to the topic here. You know, it's uh, the moment the Claude leaves the lane and is able to double lane. That's the end of the story. Yeah. The Claude wins that lane. Yeah, exactly. They can almost like telegraph it because of the natural scaling. I, I really think that TNC shouldn't have given up the CC, especially because they drafted around it. Imagine if they had the CC in this case, like it will be. So there's going to be a lot for them to. There are a lot of frontlining. They don't. But they will not have as much problems as they have right now. Maybe what IRG will pick up is just a Yu Zhong, Yu Zhong or Angela. Much more manageable than the CC Angela. Yeah, for now sure. first turtle. Oh, oh, right. oh, another big final slash from Light. But here's the counter punch. Can they stand it? Bloody Hunt gonna find the lockdown on Light. He does fall. But on the wings of love, they go. Ryzen now in mm. trouble as he falls. Heads the next target. The Can't survive Ooh. the damage just yet. The flicker from Nomad won't get chased under the turret. Super Yoshi and Hatred waiting patiently there. But now RSG lights back up. They can make their way for the turtle and the resources. Super Yoshi will delay that a little bit longer, though. And they back off. And that resets the purple buff as well. But looks like nobody's going to secure the land of dawn. I've never thought of it that way. Yeah. That is a Fred. He is every referee that comes out. Fred 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 Fraser's Wrath, my favorite ultimate. A Fraser's Wrath for the audience. Wrath. For the audience, you know? <laughs> but at this point, RSG already oh. ahead by 3K heads. Melting in front of Kusei. Oh, hold on. You know, I just thought of great visual effect they can do for the next big tournaments. What? Every time their referee comes out, on the screens, you know the big 3D screens. Oh, Boom! Yeah. Appraisers are out. Yeah. yeah. No. That will be a moon ton. It'll be awesome. Moon ton, please. You heard and it here first. <laughs> he Wait. Right, a good target, but they might not have enough damage for this one, so they will just not even attempt to go for that play. And also, there's always that factor of the Angela. That's why, um, although the Franco is really good, I think the Angela just you know, global presence, ultimate, you can turn things around. It's uh. Not the easiest. That's the power of love, friend. Yep. Whenever yep. you get bursted down, the heart guard just comes in and you survive for that one more second. The, and that second saves you from imminent death. Kusei already with that golden staff. Things are going to get painful for TNC. Yep. And Aqua again, one of the few players that likes to do this. Early roam for... Early roam. Are they, no, yeah, very early road boots. Very early exhort boots coming out from Aqua. Interesting. Completely sacrificing oh. himself. Okay, Demon Kai gets the heart guard though, which the stands turret. a lot of them. There's the final slash. The return comes through. Super Yoshi still gonna be alive for a little longer. So finally, Kosei takes him down. And RSG, yeah. it looked like a oh. moment, a little win for TNC, but it quickly got diminished. Imagine. Oh! Kosei. Oh! Jumps in once again, forcing Hatred and Omed back. And that's a flicker times two down. Imagine that was a hook um, into the flicker. Flicker, bloody hunt. You have the full barrage coming out oh. from uh, the turret as well. Oh, they want to fight again. Still, final slash going to be used. Heads still in the front side. They want to battle it out. Shot's going to miss. No light now in trouble as Heads gets the kill. TNC. Finally finding something here, but yeah. they still have a massive space to work oh. towards. Woo. Even with those shots coming out from Hatred. They yeah. finally get their first two kills of the game, but RSG, they trade the turret down on bottom lane. And RSG still ahead by 4,000. Yep. It's going to be the first Lord this time around. TNC did not control the early game. Maybe it's a twist of fate. Maybe RSG will be in the hands of an unfortunate event by, by Lord Fight. Who knows, right? Who knows? But they have Angela that picked up the Rome boots very early, already with a fleeting time. 
Aqua knows that he doesn't need to farm at all anymore. No more position four. They're both position five. Ace. Oh, there's a hook to land into it. Light taken out. And he is going to be back up before that Lord fight. So right now, that's just another a small little step for TNC in the right direction. Yeah. The walking wind condition himself. This is uh, Franco that we're talking about. TNC Pro Team, they could potentially get two or three more of those. Maybe even potentially get Kusei. I feel like Kusei is the prime target here. The moment Super Yoshi is able to land one big hook to Kusei, and Kusei dies immediately before the Blazing Duet, is the time TNC turns things yeah. around. It's a... Uh a lot of conditions that you just mentioned. Hey man, but I I'm just agree. trying. I mean, yeah, I mean, I do agree with you. There's a lot of things. There's a lot of uh, unfortunate events that should happen, favoring TNC so that eventually they can get things back. But that that also means that it's not impossible, right? I think it's it's quite common here. And look at Nomad actually freezing the lane and just last hitting. That's interesting why he did that. Now um, the Lurt fight is. I would say semi winnable for TNC because they have even even levels between their junglers and they also have the flickers, their battle spell. So I will not be surprised if TNC tries to fight this, but man, RSG are prepared for this yeah. one. And Yoshi already around that corner. One big hook here could oh. change it. Light! Light goes in again. Final slash on two. Can they withstand the fight? Heads has to flicker out. Takes the burn of the damage as he finally falls. And they want to return it. Hatred on the backside trying to lay down some covering fire. They get the lockdown. They're still fighting now. Verizon will fall. Super Yoshi going to be next. Nomad trying to help them out and keep him Aqua. at bay. Can he get the kill? He gets the bay. bay. But Light comes back in with a final slash to take out Nomad. And now it's just Hatred. Man. Hatred has to poke them out, but looks like Heads, no, Knots, will be the one to zone him out and potentially even take him out for the wipeout. Heads, the only one remaining for TNC. Oh man, the keys to victory for RSG. Force TNC for extended defense, and that's exactly what happened. TNC already got taken out with because of that good final slash coming out from Light. Didn't even have to pop the flicker. They went out, they still fought after they tried to run away. And that extended team fight went badly for TNC. And then like snags Nobit in the end. Hatred also being dove by the Angela CC combo that should have not been allowed by TNC. And now they're suffering all of those mistakes that have piled up. Uh -huh. It's torture for TNT now. First Lord push of the game for RSG with a 7k gold day TNC in the brink of elimination. This is a very dire situation for the entire Phoenix army. And here comes the conceal from Light. Oh, the hook's not going to land. They're pushing it in on the bottom side. Shield's going to go down. They jump in heads with the penalty zone. Light will be the one to fall. TNC wanted to fight back. Chasing down Navs. Demon Kite gets out with a sliver of health. The shot won't land, but TNC holds on for a little longer. I have to say that is the best case scenario. No inhibitor turrets fallen for the side of TNC, and they even got a kill. Yes. However, that's just onto Light. Light very happy to tank that gank. TNC just lacking the damage because of the disparity of gold, but nevertheless, great defense. And they didn't overextend afterwards, so we got to have to hand it to Ryzen, landing that missiles onto multiple members of RSG. And we've seen this yesterday. When, you, when your hitbox gets so high up because of the echo, astral echo, to land your your uh, missiles as the bars easily. On oh, this four and that buff, they're gonna force him back, but Ryzen able to get it. So still, TNC trying to do what they can. Really, when you're talking about conditions at this point, yeah, Super Yoshi's that himself. But even for Nomad, a lot of the position that he has to pull off here on this carry, especially now where he is itemization-wise, could turn the tide of a fight. And if That's Hatred true. picking up the Divine Glaive can whittle down the members of RSG before a big fight breaks out. That'd be best case scenario for them. Yeah, and now 40 seconds will be the timer for the Luminous Lord. A lot of gold on the hands of RSG. It will be very dangerous for TNC Pro Team to be going on a 5v5 around that Lord Pit, but they still have the tools for a potential game-changing pickoff here. They're able to eat one crucial member or even just Get a great hook here on Kusei, who still has to be that one way towards victory. That yeah. one way 
for their fight to get that win. Yeah. And I'll have to be... Uh, I'll have to give uh, something to Ryzen. Ryzen. Ryzen is level 15. Despite him like struggling so much, he's kept up with the farm when it comes to like the jungle matchup. So yeah. they do have a shot at taking over in this uh, yeah. Lord fight. And Nomad also picked up the, the window of nature. So that's always going to be good for Nomad. And still no inhibitor turrets down for the side of TNC. Right. It is a big gold lead for RSG, but they haven't been able to siege down the days of TNC. The hopes are up for Phoenix yeah. Army. If they steal this Lord, it might just be big. This is once again the thing. They have to keep an eye on the light. They are going to spawn him out, at least for now. Lord less than half health. TNC, do they want to push this in? Conceal play going to be used as well. Aqua waiting patiently. Hook's not going to land this time. Here comes a they conceal. want to go for it, though, again. Daytona's welcome. Going to go in as well. Lord, though, taken by Demon Knight. Can TNC win the fight here? They're trying to pull it through. There's the heart guard on Naz, though. Course TNC back. And it's too much for Ryzen. Now heads to the next target as he falls as well. Two down for TNC and a Lord for RSG. 3v5 scenario here. They're already cutting the waves with the Lord marching down bottom lane. RSG has this one big chance to end it all for TNC. Their last match of this week might just be the game, no, the season ending game for TNC. They're gonna hold it together the best they can. A Lord making its way down the bottom. They already lose that turret. Now in the mid lane, the base turret as well. Navs keeps him there, but Light jumps in again. RSG go in for full raid, and that's it. That's the playoff lives for TNC and the fire distinct distinguished for the season. RSG with a clean sweep against TNC ends the play.